if you really like a girl and you're afraid to date other people because you're so into her and feel like you'd be missing out mm -hmm. on her if she were to be available and give you a chance someday, but you've got someone perfectly good you're talking to who likes you and is willing to go further with you, how do you approach that? Mm -hmm. Do you reject the girl who likes you in the hopes of getting this dream girl of yours? Or do you keep going steady and talking to the girl who likes you, but risk missing out on the potential opportunity to be with your dream girl? I love this question. Great it's question. Very good. Well, <clears throat> first of all, we're not huge fans of the term dating. Not that we're opposed to dating. It's just simply we come against the pressure and the expectation and the label mm -hmm. that comes with that, that creates scenarios like this to where even the thing of being in communication and talking with a girl and just getting to know her mm -hmm. comes with, as soon as you slap the dating label on it, now you have this expectation alongside it. Yeah. What's wrong with doing the very same thing without the dating label? Mm -hmm. Guess what? Now you have freedom to communicate with many different ladies mm -hmm. or guys with no expectations or attachment to the outcome. You're not tied down to any one of them. You're not committed to any one of them. Yeah. By the way, you're not committed until you have a ring on your finger. Engagement ring at, at the very least, okay? Yeah. If if you don't have an engagement ring on your finger, I mean, technically, <laughs> if, you, if you want to avoid all the chaos and the drama that we've helped so many other singles avoid, mm -hmm. it's, it's definitely not conventional and uh, many people will disagree with us. Um, we walked this very same thing out. We did tons of communication online because our, our relationship was long distance and we we're 2,850 miles apart. And we met one time in person, mm -hmm. face to face in the flesh for a weekend. Second time we met up, I proposed and 48 hours later, we got married. But before that, we talked for four months. Yeah. Like I said, we did tons of communication mm -hmm. online, uh, so again, it puts the emphasis on the communication part and getting to know each other, really getting to know each other. Mm -hmm. That's what speeds up the process, but being purposeful about what you're talking about and what you're connecting about, like literally, you know, have a plan of action on what you're going to communicate with about, you know, things that you want, need to define before you get married, make a decision. Yeah. Do your missions yeah. align up? Are you both coachable, teachable? Do you have a similar vision for life? Yeah. Are your beliefs the same? And you can do that if you're purposeful about it and keep things moving along. Long distance can absolutely work. Mm -hmm. However, to go ahead, you have something. That, I need yeah. to clarify something. When we say no dating and you can do that with many people without putting a label on it, we're not saying that you're going to go out with people and have an open relationships and kissing and having sex and hugs and physical touch and everything else Hooking up. we're not talking about that nope. so when we say that it is clean communication connection where you are building friendships think of it as sitting across from each uh, the table from each other drinking a cup of coffee yeah that's what we're talking about so, communication friendship i think the friendship got lost in the the society of dating word in world because so you need to become friends before you can go into dating that's what i'm saying and why because when you ask certain questions when you talk to people you can find out a lot of things before you go into dating the dating is that when you committed to one person and that's already with the purpose of marrying that person so that i just want to bring that clarity because i can hear somebody already say like oh my gosh so now you're slopping the thing and, and then you're just crossing the dating and Where now it's open to go out and hook up with anyone and everyone not at all we are actually what we're doing is we're redefining the dating label yes and what that means yeah and Everyone has their own interpretation on the details of what dating should look like from yeah. based upon their perspective and what they've always been taught and their personal experience. Mm -hmm. um, number one uh, thing that I'd like to point out about this question that we're responding to is that of if you're still in a state of indecision, 
then that's a key sign that you're not ready to commit to one person. Yeah. And you should keep your options open until you're ready to commit. Yes. If you're still in the state of the indecision, then you need to keep the dating label off of it, all of them. Mm -hmm. Just maintain communication, getting to know them as friends, get to know them as a human being. Yeah. Like, hello. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with getting to know somebody as a human being? Right. Potential, but recognizing that you prop you it's a high chance of probability that uh, uh, well, 99% of the yeah. ones that you're communicating with, you're communicating with somebody else's future spouse. And you need to proceed with that level of integrity and honor and respect. Right. Yeah. And so that that's all I would have, have on that. Yeah. And so another thing, you know, this person is asking the girl of my dreams. Okay. Let's define. We need to define that. What is the girl of your dreams? Is that hot, sexy, beautiful, spunky? Or is there beyond that? Something or is it beyond that. Aligned missions and being both being coachable and teachable. Yes. Yeah. Two so, different uh, two different two definitions different for definitions. the dream girl. Yeah. Probably. So we need to define that. What is it that you're saying that your dream girl is? Because look. I had a dream guy that I attached myself to for six years or seven years. I can't even remember. It was a long time. But guess what? I've never, ever even asked that person, what is your purpose and mission in life? What is your vision for life? What are the, in the go over the questions that we talk about here on this channel and in our community to go deeper to find if this is a good match for me. You know, we talked about that before. Your dream girl might be a missionary and a gypsy kind of a missionary where they just travel and that's their life. They go from one place to another to the next and they can do it with a family too. So it's, it's just who they are. They were designed like that, that's their mission. And you are the one who likes to have homestead and put your roots down somewhere. And you're still a missionary, but you might just go on missions once in a while to help out here and there. You need to define those things. It is important because either if you found this dream person and they're just so hot and sexy and you're like, I can't just stand, oh, like I want to be with them. And then you marry them and the next thing you know, one or the other will be submitting to the other person's vision or mission and the process of building connection or getting to know somebody building friendship is the same whether you're interested in them or not whether right. they're your, your dream person or not yeah the process is the same otherwise right. we're discriminating and mm -hmm. being showing partiality and how we treat one person over the next person yeah. based upon whether their interest you're interested mm -hmm. in them or, okay, that speaks of agenda. Yeah. That speaks of an attachment to the outcome. It, it speaks of expectations. Right. And so we need to start practicing and role playing, building genuine friendships and connections with people where you have no interest in for the purpose of developing that muscle of no mm -hmm. expectations mm -hmm. and just loving on the person and honoring them as a person. Yeah. And you have no end goal in mind. And when you take that same energy into the person that you do have hopes and dreams for, It'll be much less clingy, much less suffocating, much less codependent, mm -hmm. much more free and allowing the other person the space to make a decision I for love themselves. That. Yeah. You know, that is actually very important to think that a lot of times we actually freeze in front of the person that we're attracted to. Because we haven't exercised that muscle of no expectations. Yes. And then it becomes hard for us to ask the right questions to find out those things because you were just so attracted everything in you just gets like ah are they are they, are they gonna say yes or no to me oh what can i do to get them to say yes to me all the time and if you've practiced getting to know people before that with you know just to practice building friendship and getting to know people asking them questions about the family their occupation their recreation and finding the message in that in their responses, which is their strengths, interests, goals, and needs. If you've practiced that a lot before that, mm -hmm. guess what? When you get in front of that person that just like, whoa, mm -hmm. this is the one where I, I would love to get to know this person better. Like you have, you have a desire for this person. You won't freeze as much because you've practiced. You know what yes. questions to ask because you've already role played with so many people mm -hmm. and honored them in the process and made friends in the process. Yeah. So, and listen, attraction is a beautiful thing. 
we love seeing that people are attracted to each other physically, they have that chemistry, and they have the chemistry and alignment on other things. But I tell you this, you probably are young. And if, if you have that, or, or you have that spark in you, and you know that the physical looks will change with age. They will change with time. They will change with certain things that come in your lives, maybe. And if you only were attracted to a person on the physical level, then it would be harder for you to continue a relationship with them when you're married to them. So make sure that that attraction, even if it exists, it's not the only thing that you have the other things that you're attracted to as a is a, their character, you know, who they are as as a person. Yeah, if you fall in love with a person's heart and soul and mm -hmm. spirit, they'll still be hot and sexy to you when you're both old and gray and wrinkly yeah. and and uh walking slow. Mm -hmm. They'll yeah. still be hot and sexy because exactly. you fell in love with what's inside. Yeah. And that's what we're focusing on and encouraging you to go after. Mm -hmm. The more it's only on the physical, the more likely it is to fade and end up in, a, in another painful separation or divorce. Yeah. And I love what you said is focus on practicing, getting to know people. Role playing. Genuinely. friends in the process. Yeah, because every human being is worthy of connection and deserve connection they desire connection go deserve practice getting to know a homeless person yeah they they appreciate somebody yeah. willing to listen to them and hear go their story a and nursing home yes nursing home is a great way of place you know, to practice kids places where kids are orphans and they don't have parents maybe or you know things like that get to know people on a genuine level and then your dream person will might even be right around you and someone that you never even suspected that they are and who knows the you. person that you do this with mm -hmm. might know the one that you're ultimately going to get married to so you never know what never the know. next connection the yeah. next friendship mm -hmm. the the network that it will connect you to to get to know other people that that will be beneficial in your life yeah or the person that you spoke of as your dream girl, when you ask those questions, when you practice with not just them, but others, they see that you honor other people. They see your heart and they might just say yes to you. You never know. But don't have that cleany attachment to people where you have hopes and dreams and then you're going to miss out on the best thing right in front of you.